Hello YouTube, this is Omnigent here, and I'm, I'm bringing you another episode of Wargame Archive. So they will be looking at the vehicles and the helicopters of NATO. Right, so let's start off with with the, sorry, not support the vehicles, anyway. Okay, so here we have the AML-60 French Mortar Carrier. Not really sure what this is doing in vehicles, but there you go. So, it's probably similar to the US Mortar and Support, it's got a... Hmm, interesting little variation here, so it's quite fast, um, it's, although its operational range isn't that good. The Mortar itself doesn't seem to be that good at all, it's got a small range, but, you know, like I said, with a support category, the fact that the, ac the ac don't take the accuracy as low as being bad, because with the low range, you know, there's not a lot of room for error. Um, it's got a main gun as well. As well, that's quite an unusual feature. Um, so there, you, so it seems to be quite a fast, a sort of a sort of hit and run artillery vehicle. And then if you, and then if you pay fi five less, you lose the artillery gun, and you basically get a, a, a keep gun. Um, that has that seems to do more damage than the base version. Yep. So that's kind of interesting vehicle. Um, sort of keep, a sort of keep gun for fifteen, and then a sort of keep gun with a mortar strapped to the back for an extra five. Okay. So then we got the sort of infantry find vehicles on their own. So this is the French sort of BPR, BMP variant, I'd say, or not variant, just rival. So it's got the deadly F1 auto cannon. This is something I'll be I might be talking about a bit in the future. This is one of the best auto cannons in the game, um, and the French strap it to print a lot of their stuff. So always be wary of this. It doesn't have that much ammunition, but it's um, yeah. This is just a sort of keep thing. You know, it's got a, it's got the auto cannon, which is good. Which is a good all rounder. It doesn't have that much armor. It's not that fast though for French standards, especially. Um, but yeah, it's only 20, so it's keep. Then we've got a tank destroyer. This is probably a sort of variant of this thing with a, the Milan F1 ATGM. Not that accurate, but pretty powerful. And it's got a lot of missiles in it. Probably nothing. So yeah, you're paying an extra 20 for this Milan to be attached to it. And then an extra 5 for just an ATGM, but it's the hot variant, which is more accurate and does a lot more damage. So it's a sort of ATGM only tank destroyer rather than this. Um, any speed differences? Nope. Okay, so basically, you've got this, which is an auto cannon. You pay 20 extra for this, and you get a basic 80 km, and then you pay an extra 5, and you get a really good 80 km, but you lose the auto cannon. So, a lot of quite a bit of variation there. Then we've got the British tank destroyer. So, this is another 80 km. It's faster than the AMX 10Ps. The range, it's got a better range, and but it only has an 80 gamma. It's got 10 missiles, but it's quite good. Probably not as good as the French. Now they carry sort of 16 and 12. So it's got fewer missiles, but it does a lot of damage at 13. And its range is okay. It's 2,600 meters, not the best. Um, yeah, so this is, this is a, actually quite a good unit, you know, because although it's um, the accuracy isn't, isn't as good as the French kind of ones at 4, but they've got sort of 5 and 7. It's 30, so this is a pretty cheap tank destroyer. It's probably harder to get a bigger punch of 13 than for anything that less. I'd probably recommend vetting this unit just to make sure that, to compensate for its accuracy, but that's a quite good vehicle. Then you've got the British Spartan APC, the general purpose machine gun. A lot, lot of ammunition in it, it's not bad accuracy, it's quite fast as well. Um, I'm fairly well armored for something for something like this. Um, yeah, this is basically this is a sort of machine gun that's very fast. I'd probably use this to sort of pick up infantry that have been stranded without their own APCs that they spawned with. We've got the Radon. It's got the British a a auto cannon on top of the machine gun, but it's slower. I I wouldn't recommend this. It's got an auto cannon and. Although an auto gun at 15 is quite good for a sort of keep helicopter defense that can also, no, it can't pick up infantry, but no, nah, I wouldn't recommend this. 
Then we got this, which looks like a version of. Okay, so this is fa a five APC. I'm guessing. Yep. So it's five, fairly fast at seventy, and it's got a World War Two era browning on it, but it's got a lot of ammunition, eight eight thousand. So I'd probably go for the Spartan. Basically, it's this seems to be. I'd recommend this as a sort of if you want to pick an infantry up, but you can't be bothered to spend ten picking them up. So you spend a bit less, and it's, but so it's slower, but it gets the. So it, it takes longer to do it, but it's keeper. So we've got the M113. So you've got the standard American browning on it. Very slow. I probably wouldn't recommend this for anything. I mean, yeah, it's five, but it's not going anywhere. And even if it did get there, it'd probably be killed in half a second. Bit of an upgrade. Gets a bit of a speed increase. And then a bit, and then an even bigger speed increase. Um, but it's got armor as well. A fully armored and 65 isn't that bad for a 15 vehicle. Um, yeah. I wouldn't recommend any of this stuff. If you want to, for the job of picking infantry up, I'd probably go for the Spartan. Although, if you want to spam lots of machine guns, this could be an interesting choice. Not about it. Then we've got this as a tank destroyer. So we start off with this recoilless rifle at 10. Same kind of speed issues. I wouldn't go for this really. Recoilless rifles don't do that much damage. I mean, well, actually, this has does seven, but the thing is, it's going up against tanks that ha that almost certainly will have the same kind of range as it. Its accuracy is two, so it's going to struggle to hit anything unless you vet it. No, this is probably going to get annihilated. At Thirty-five. You get the basic tow. Um covered this before when I was doing the Bradley Recon, so it's a decent AD game. It's also got, got good speed, but it's quite fragile. And then for 55, you get the Ito and armor all round. Um, so yeah, this is a decent tank destroyer family, because you've got this if you're really desperate and you just need a gun. Um, you've got this as a sort of basic tank destroyer, and then you've got this as a super duper tank destroyer, so that's not a bad family. Then they've got the German APC. It looks like it's the same as this one. Let's just check. Well, that's an intra it, that is very interesting. So this, it's it's only got an MG3, so it's got a worse gun, but it's slightly faster and it costs the same. And I wouldn't bother with that hand, but still, 50 isn't fast enough to justify it. Um. If you want to spam it, you know, the MG3 is quite a good spam weapon because it's got a decent amount of ammo and it's got a very fast rate of fire, so it could suppress it quite quickly and it's accurate, so it'll definitely be hitting them. Then we've got the flamethrower vehicle, the Zippo, NATO's only flamethrower unit. It's, you know, it's the standard flamethrower that we saw from Warsaw Pact units at 1000 meters. Enough ammunition to keep the fire burning all through the winter. But it's, it has the sort of speed issues and armor issues of the other ones. Overall, I wouldn't use this in any way. It's just um, flamethrowers aren't good anymore because they uh, they they're no longer classed as sort of artillery, so they certainly need direct line of sight to fire, and that takes away their advantage. So no, wouldn't use those. Let's see. So we got some AT gem keeps. This is probably the this is the sort of the bind for your buck method. So this is the AT gem that costs thirty five on the M one one three. And the Ito, which costs 55 in the M113, it's 30. So this is basically an ADGM strapped to a keep. Speed, 65. That's, you know, it's average. Not that good. T Nation tanks would probably run away from it. And remember, this is a keep, so this is going to die pretty quickly. So it's good for an ambush unit because these ADGM are pretty accurate and pretty damaging. So this is, this is a great ambush unit. But... The trouble is that um, if they spot it and fire artillery at it, it's going to die super quickly. So don't go, you know come complaining if it dies. Then we've got the M2 Bradley. This is probably the non-recon variant. Um, bad optics, not actually poor. But yeah, so this is probably the same as the recon version. It costs about 25 less. Um, for, so you're paying 25 more for the recon version of it. Same kind of thing as the... Other Bradley, you've got the lovely Bootsmaster auto cannon, and then the tow and the Ito upgrade. Apart from that, peas in a pot. So you've got the French anti tank team, coilless rifle. Again, I've already just talked about that, and then the Milan ATKM. 
Now that's in its 10, which is you'd expect because if you go to the, where's the reconnaissance rifle in this one? This one? So if you compare the two, looks like they're pretty much the same to me. Actually, you know, the French one is better actually. They cost the same, but the French one's got a be better range and is faster. But the American one carries more ammunition and is armored. Mm, it's an interest, interesting one for that. Then you get the Milan, which is sort of basic 80 km. It does a lot of damage at 12, so it's a pretty powerful punch. Its accuracy isn't that good, though, and it doesn't have a lot of am ammunition, and it's quite weak as well. Although it is only 15, so you could get a lot. You know, that's a pretty good bind for your buck for, you know, 15. It's probably like half the price of this. It's I'd probably go for this over the Ito stuff because when you've got, you know, when you're packing that kind of firepower, you want to make sure it's going to survive an, uh, an attack. Let's see, now we're going to German. Some infantry fine vehicles here, it looks like. Engineers. Oh, okay, something happened there. I'm just going to stop the recording just to make sure if Rams didn't cut out. Okay, and we're back. Guess not taking any chances with France at the moment. Okay, so we got the infantry fighting vehicle of West Germany. Quite fast and quite well armored actually for although it is 25, and it's got the auto cannon, the RH202. This is a nasty auto cannon. Uh, this is actually quite a good vehicle um for ambushing helicopters. Let's see, upgrade it, you get a Milan F180 GM, upgrade it again. Get a boost in accuracy of your gun and it goes faster. Also, it's got a better stabilizer, so it's good for pursuing, better for pursuing stuff. And then you get a better ADGM and more armor but slower. So, yeah, this is a sort of basic fighting unit that you could spam around the place. Quite good in the current version of the game because it's got the F2 ADGM at 15, but it's not that fast. So, yeah, the Marder seems a bit a good one. 